Archetypes of practice have been really passionate about trying to deliver really low uh, operational energy buildings, and we've developed uh, a kind of the passive house approach, which we now apply to the majority of our projects. But we've also uh, want to s extend that to be an evidence approach around material specification, uh, looking at sustainability, uh, health, and ethics, and how the materials we select, uh, what impacts they have. And as part of that process, uh, we've been doing research in-house, which we've shared today, uh, trying to show how we can then communicate that to clients. So building up the databases of reports, articles, research, carrying out our own research as well into products, particularly in terms of internal air quality, uh, and how those impact on, on occupant health and, and satisfaction, and how much they enjoy our buildings. Uh, the key drivers uh, for specification, I think carbon is a big factor. I mean, we have to tackle climate change, and particularly particularly in terms of body carbon, so I think, again, really, it's really important to understand that in new buildings that embodied carbon is a really significant part of the impact, and that impact is happening now, and uh, immediately, and, and have it creating climate change now, whereas when we're generating low energy buildings, those operational savings are only occurring over time. So it's, it's really kind of focusing our minds on, on exactly what products we specify and what impacts they're having on the planet now. And it's actually a real opportunity for designers to actually make a difference. One of the things that really stood out for me from the discussion today was just actually once you start visualising the impact. So, for example, uh, when David was talking about uh, where do things go from our buildings, where does the waste actually go? And it's a very kind of uh, current uh, issue is the recent sort of on television, people tracking our recycling, where does it go? And the same is true for the construction industry. And actually, I think there's a very low level of understanding about what actually happens to the stuff particularly when we, uh, when we sort of take it out of buildings. And so for me, that was uh, really kind of interesting to start sort of visualising that and for everybody to, in the room to kind of start to see that journey. Outcomes are the really important thing here. So you can have design standards, uh, you can design to them, but actually how does the building perform? Uh, you know, and, and, and again, with procurement, whether those, those ideas and principles are more than just tick box exercise, but translated into something different, something new and I think unless we're seeing buildings change uh, you know we can't be reducing the impact something must be changing <laughs> we've got to see that change and make it tangible I think we the whole idea of uh, focus obviously valuation can seem like quite a dry topic uh, which is again about kind of meetings and notes and reports but actually there is something really tangible about going back to a building and there's there's a te te technical aspect of that so getting we're getting our feedback from the from the University of East Anglia and seeing that on a daily basis how the spaces are performing how comfortable people are but there's also actually going back and visiting your own buildings just that experience so I think uh, David Gaines picking up about the smell and I think the one thing I really take away going back to some of our buildings that they uh, actually smell good <laughs> and I think that's something architects should aspire to be buildings that smell good